Hey guys, Clumsy here and uh, welcome back to ATS Season 3. Now in the previous episode, we were, well since the start of the series, we were playing with vanilla. No mods, but this time, the gloves are off. So it's time to get back into mods and I'm going in there full swing. So here are the mods that we have enabled. You can check it out, you can pause the video and uh, review the load order and stuff like that but what I wanted to highlight was this guy here the T800 has now been made compatible with 1.32 and that's going to be our first truck I told you guys as well in the last episode that we will be buying our truck and I've had a bit of a headache there I'll tell you about it later but in addition to that we have all the other usual mods that I use um, foggy weather is of course there, sound fixes Realistic environment and early autumn combination from Grimes. These are uh, things that add on to the realism of the landscape. Makes the colors less saturated and more natural. So let's go into it and I'll tell you the headaches that I've been having just to get this T800 working for us. So this profile of ours, we're only level 3. This new season, we're only level 3. And if you go to the truck dealer, if you download the T800 from the Steam Workshop, you can check it out in the, the video description. There is a link there to the mods list. Or you can simply search for T800 in the ATS Steam Workshop. If you look, if you load that up and if you go here in the dealer and go to T800, the normal level requirement is level 8. And take note, we are level 3 only. So it will appear like that, level 8. So I had to go into the mod, the definition files, and modify some of them to change some of the parts so that it uses not the high end, rather it uses the basic parts. And in particular, I found if you want to do this yourself, you'll have to go into the mod, the definition files, and modify it yourself. But let me give you a hint. The hint is to change two things. One is to change the exhaust because by default, the, the stacks that are being used are this ones, the level 8, the, the ones that look cooler. Uh, let me show you how that looks. Kind of looks like that. Kind of ish. Yeah, but not the plain stacks. So that is the default part. That's why it's a level 8 requirement. So if you change that to use this plain stacks instead, then that will remove the level requirement. And the other one, which was very elusive, I had to go through each and every part looking at the level requirement for each part and after after an hour of looking it turns out that these little guys here this guy in particular so the the cabin lights or the these uh, I don't know, hood lights it was using the default lumen chrome which is level 7 requirement so I initially I removed the stacks right I, I, I used the plain one so from level 8 it got down to level 7 I, and I could not find which had the level 7 requirement and after an hour I found these guys it was defaulting to that so I had to change the definition files to use the, the mark one instead which did not have any level requirement so now you can buy it as of level 3 and that is going to be our first truck. But before all that, I don't have money, so we'll have to uh, loan from the bank. Okay, so let me loan 100k for now. I don't think I'll go with the driver's route. I think I want to do this solo, at least in the beginning. So let's loan as little as possible, even though the interest rate is 18%. What the heck? <laughs> That's like a credit card uh, loan right there. Rip. Okay, so let's see. Truck dealer. Go up. Oh, Portland so we'll be going back to Portland that's beautiful because we'll have a chance to explore the uh, the rest of Portland and more of the bridges so we have a couple of options here you can have a 6x4 a 4x2 or a 6x4 or a 6x2 which is actually having a rear steer interesting that might be interesting looking Hmm, although I think I would get the 6x4 just to be on the safe side. The 4x2 is super cute looking. <laughs> yeah, although uh, I think I'd like it 6x4. Yes, so for when we go through those uh, 
bumpy roads, we might have more of a chance. <sighs> Although I'm tempted, I'm tempted to get the 6x2. Let's go with the 6x2 because this is more unique. Let's go with that. 6x2 rear steer. <laughs> Fickle-minded, clumsy. Okay, over here, we can get a more powerful engine. ISX, I think we'll go with the Cummins. Efficiency series, I like the sound of that. Very good torque there. Well, although the best torque right now is actually this one. Interestingly enough, 1650 versus 1450. No, that, no that's 1650 as well. I'm not sure why those are two different things. Maybe it changes depending on the uh, the load or the, the, the throttle. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let's pick that one. You guys let me know if you have more info on that, right? And then let's pick the one with the 10-speed retarder. Let's get a retarder in here. Okay, interior looks good. This is from the W900. In the dashboard, I downloaded the one from Piva, which modifies the T800 uh, dashboard. As always, you can see all these mods in the mods list. Check out the video description. And the question is, which paint job are we getting? Okay, so we're a bit limited right now. I would like to have the uh, fancy paint jobs, but right now they're pretty much locked still. So we'll have to live with the basic colors. Man, how about the black one? No, it doesn't look good. Red is fine. I think red is fine. Red is very classic looking. Let's start with that bare bones and then we'll add on to it bit by bit, right? Standard wedged. Hmm. No, I think I, can, I kind of like the the big the bigger appeal. Fender guards, not really a fan. Fender extenders. 100 bucks, why not? Okay, let's go with that. Flag, we don't need it. Tires. Oh, I, I should have unlocked the other tires. Okay, let's leave it for now. Oh, yes, standard, please. I hate that. Absolutely hate that look. It, it's a bit uh, too old school for me. Smarties. Nuts. <laughs> that sounds a bit uh, a bit weird. SCR hub. Yeah, I, had, I have Smarties wheel pack here as well. But leave, let's leave that rare or raw. Okay, other than that, yeesh. Okay, let's keep it there. Let's use his nuts. <laughs> and then let's use his hub as well. Good. Okay, keep it classic. Rinse and repeat. Perfect. Okay, good. Now we have an option here. Do we want basic air intake or air filters? Looks more massive like this, but kind of looks cleaner this way. I think we'll keep it like this to also differentiate a lot with the W900. Yeah, there's a bit of history here if you want to read on it. If you go to the Steam Workshop link for this, the description is very detailed and shows a bit of the history, the different kinds of realistic setups with this truck, the usage read up on it and it will give you a bit more background on where this truck is used okay everything else is locked i think that pretty much seals it so it's going to be bare bones but it's going to be our truck so we can be proud of it All right do we want mirrors let's get that do we want mirrors um let's see from inside I would want a GPS. I'm not sure what that is though. Isn't that the GPS already? I think that's a GPS already. Let's leave that there. So if I want some mirrors, I can barely see it anyway. What is the use? What is the use? <laughs> like if I add that, look at that. Well, I guess we can move up our view and see more of it, but not really necessary that's going to, only going to be a hit on performance okay kenworth modern we're fine with that we do have a couple of options with the mirror though i do like those uh, wide angle mirrors at the bottom so we'll keep that or we can also have modern but i think i'd like the classic look yeah i'd like a bit more of the classic look 
telepass devices. Let's have those. I think we are good with that. Let's get a Vanderbaum. Do we have anything else that's fancy? No, we're good. Can we have a clumsy mug though? Yeah, I think a clumsy mug would uh, fit perfectly. With any clumsy truck. <laughs> it's a bit large. It's a bit submerged. But... How about here? Okay, here it won't work. How about there? Yeah, I think that one looks a bit more natural. From outside, it also looks good. You can see it. Good. A little bit of branding would enter it, right? A backpack would help. Um, thank you. Although they say that is illegal, I think, in, in the US. Having things like scattered around, cluttering the, the dashboard. And that's why I think you don't have the accessories DLC and ATS by default by officially from SES. You can only get it from mods, but let's chalk it up to creative freedom, alright? So do you want get, do you guys want that? I'll keep it off for now, okay? And you guys let me know if you want. But I think we have our truck right here. Our very own beautiful D800 day cab. This guy is going to take a lot of logs. I think this will be our logger right here. And later on, I don't think we can see it yet, but later on, we will be able to unlock a couple of head air cracks for the logging. I believe that is. So, let me know how we can improve this. Not a lot of customization options yet, but it's our truck. And there we go. Sold to Clumsy. Let's make sure we uh, take care of it. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a 10 speed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. It works. The computer dashboard works from Piva. Nice. Let's hear the engine from outside. Not too shabby. It's actually pretty good, huh? So this also contains the compatibility for Krishpum's engine sounds. So that's perfect. Change that. Man, I love this dashboard. This computer dashboard. Do you have a digital speedo? Uh, I don't think so. Well, let's see. Maybe if I remove the parking brake? I have to change it though. Change it to... H-Shifter, Eaton Fuller, 10 speeds. There we go. Oh, first gear. Okay. Oh, we do have the dig digital speedo right there at the bottom. Very nice. Okay, I like it. Man, this is perfect. Okay, good. Now, the clumsy mug might get a bit too bright sometimes. Just uh, to remind everybody who I am. <laughs> no, I don't have an excuse. Man, I love this. Okay, good, good. Right. So what time is it? Let's see. Let's read the time. Time is 1.30 p.m. if I'm reading that clock correctly. Upper right dial. Right beside, right to the left of the GPS. Exactly. 1.30. Perfect. Alright, let's go and get our first oh, freight market. Not yet cargo market. One step at a time. One step at a time. Okay, let's see. Route length. No, let's go with uh, price per distance because we need uh, as much money as we can take. There is one which is going to bend. We've been there before already though. Can you go south maybe? That one goes south. The Digger 1000. I can go with that. So either a box trailer from Chevron. 14 tons of fertilizer. I didn't know Chevron sells fertilizer. <laughs> or a Digger 1000. 
Okay. Let's take that because it pays more. Yeah, right now, we are very sensitive when it comes to these things. Okay, and I think I can choose that one. That is the gas, the diesel level. Mileage. Range. Okay, I think we'll keep that. Good. So yes, as you guys saw a while ago, mods are in full swing. We have foggy weather, we have subtle icons, we have... Uh, although I don't ha really have any of the other trailer mods just yet. Because I don't think they're ready. Oh, come on! Come on! I hope there's no damage there. We did get penalty though. Crap! Okay, at least it's just maybe a nick on the paint job. Maybe the bumper got a bit of a warm-up. Yeah, I hate buses. When I'm a truck, I hate buses. Absolutely. <laughs> no question about it. The gear is over there, right? Near the RPMs. Which makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's just cruise along here. Oh, I remember those trailers. That trailer. House Prefabs, I think that's called. Very nice. And the cop car behind us is very nice. Although I think he is. Oh, is this a cop car? No, I don't think so. Looks like an emergency vehicle. Actually, I'm not sure. It looks like a tow, tow pickup or something. Okay, so where do we pick this up from? I guess from here? Don't quite see it. Okay, there, on the left. We have a pickup point on the left. Now, with the foggy weather I'm using, this is still the foggy weather 2.0. You guys might have uh, seen recently in ETS2, in our previous ETS2 episode, I featured the new beta test phase for the foggy weather. So there is a new beta. This is not yet it, right? For ATS, we're still using the quote-unquote old foggy weather 2.0. So when that is released though, for sure I'll... When Kirill makes it available for ATS though, for sure I'll uh, apply it as well in there. Okay, are we good? Yes, there's the trailer. Let us circle our way through. Man, I missed ATS. Okay, can I just go around there? Maybe. This seems a little... Uh, Messy. <laughs> okay. Very nicely done though. You can see the details in this pickup point. Looks like a dumping ground. Actually, I don't need lights, do I? There's even a weighing station here. Weighing scale. Although I don't think it works. Let's see, okay. I don't suppose any of these axles of ours are liftable. I think it's steerable. Yeah, you can see. The back axle is actually steering. Whenever I turn. And we'll see that more in later. Uh, we'll see that more later when we start driving. Is that fitting? Actually not. Interesting. I thought I was somewhere in the center. Okay. One more. Let's see. Wow. Oh, okay. No, that's really off. That is really off. It's been a while since I've taken a trailer like this. I usually take box trailers nowadays. So, I kind of forgot that you actually... Yeah, this is probably it. Align yourself on that outer 
side of the trailer. Still not enough though. I hope advanced trailer coupling is supported by this truck. I think it should. There we go. That's very far from what I was expecting. Trailer cables are working. Perfect. That doesn't look half bad, does it? That doesn't look half bad. And it, this is our own truck. So I'm happy. It's a bit cloudy today though. A bit more uh, challenging. A bit more gloomy. Okay. But yes, so this is not yet the new foggy weather, but still, we can all appreciate the beauty, I'm sure. The realism it provides only gives us a better appreciation of the uh, sights and scenes from Oregon. Ooh, trains! It's actually a pretty long train. One of the longer trains in this game. Can I move? Okay. Pardon me. It's been a while <laughs> since I held this kind of trailer. Let me see. Uh, okay, no steer, no liftable axles anywhere. Ooh, I like that. There's actually even like some kind of mechanism there. Probably for, I don't know, flattening or moving the flattened uh, cars. Very nice. Oh, let's try and catch this traffic light. Yes, thank you. Made it. Alright. So yes, this is the first ATS episode since I got back from vacation. The previous ATS episodes I was uh, basically pre-recording so thank you thanks a lot for the support on that guys thank you for commenting even if it was pre-recorded I was happy to read the messages and I think I was replying to them right I just wasn't able to adapt immediately yeah I, I mentioned that we will be buying a new truck this episode and that's what we did although I was actually hoping for SES to release a truck to have released a new truck by now but it wasn't uh, meant to be I, I uh, was expecting the I was hoping that the Volvo VNL would be ready but yeah it's not meant to be I think they will be releasing it in a couple of weeks though so the good thing is they did confirm that they will be releasing the Volvo VNL, VNL soonish when exactly no one knows but in a couple of weeks that's the target at least man we're passing through the beautiful cityscape or city skyline of portland let's take a photo it is a bit gloomy though so We'll try and uh, make the most out of it. Yeah, it's a bit gloomy. Would have been so nice otherwise. Um, so many nice bridges there. Okay, so maybe... But I do want to highlight the truck. So maybe let's just focus on the truck right now and see how it works. Maybe we can also show the CG mug. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that shouldn't be too bad, right? Yes, let us highlight that one. And that is not such a bad shot after all. Oh, it actually has antennas as well. Didn't notice that when we were configuring the truck. Wasn't sure if you could uh, modify those. Good. And I'm happy. What's the speed limit here? Okay, we're good. But yeah, I hope you guys are liking this T800. I know there are a lot of fans for this truck, one of the workhorses in the US trucking world. I can't remember now exactly where it was used but I remember specifically there was a logging use for it. It was used in logging 
and uh, one of my goals is to eventually buy the uh, buy our own trailer our own logging trailer and even though SCS did not really provide a an ownable logging trailer yet it is actually it has actually been modded in there is a mod I have to go here Phew. almost got confused there thank goodness for the GPS so there is an ownable trailer version of the logging trailer an ownable version of the logging trailer which allows you to well pick up logs and uh, you can see it empty you can see it loading up oh very nice cable car hype very apt so that is the goal that's what i want to purchase as our first trailer i'm not really sure what the level requirement would be though but if ever i might just you know like remove the level requirement from the definition file edit it the same way as i edited this one but uh, in this case we're not really cheating because we didn't really change any of the level requirements we basically just toned down the parts that are part of the the basic truck the default truck which is i think what it should be anyway the basic truck should only in in include the the bare bones parts and then you can customize it to add the uh, more complicated ones as necessary so you might notice fall trees not fell trees but trees colored in line with fall a little brownish yellowish that's from grimes and you might notice as well a little bit toned down colors in terms of the textures on the road or the 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 uh, they say the soil it's not too bright you guys let me know if you prefer this or if you prefer if you're okay with this or if you prefer crap if you prefer another the, the default which is more saturated but man that looks good doesn't it that looks so good and this is not even the newest foggy weather yet this is only 4k textures the new foggy weather deals with 8k textures oh my goodness i missed the discoverable trap i hope i can still get to unlock salem though but i think wait a minute is there an exit here no there is not is there somewhere we can turn off there is let's take a detour this guy will not give way though come on I love the horn on this guy. Very American sounding. Good, thank you for squeezing me in. And this time we move to the right. sightseeing as we did in the was it in the last episode when we explored Newport I like that episode very chill very touristy <laughs> exploring a lot of uh, beautiful sights and thank goodness for turning on right rules and yeah this is where the wide angled mirror helps a lot as you can see if the trailer is going up the curb or not I really use that a lot let me change this it's a bit too numbery how about that one nah. let's leave it like that Kenworth or this one maybe yeah this one might be better 35 okay we're good Let's try to unlock that discoverable. Explore a bit of Salem. And then get back on the highway. 25 here. Oh yeah. Actual house. 
houses. Not even sure if we're allowed here. Feels a bit like we're intruding on private space. <laughs> Having a huge truck just passing by some of the private homes in front of their lawn. But fine. Okay. Yes. So, what can we talk about? What have been the updates since the last uh, episode? Well, I, I shared with you the T800, this one. The logging trailer. A lot of other updates. Alex has been very, very industrious in uh, scouring through the mod sites. Looking for different interesting mods. And not only Alex, the entire community has been sharing a couple of mods with me and I haven't been able to try them out so thank you guys for sharing and uh, keep them up right always happy to you thought I'll crash into that car didn't you you were waiting for it didn't you weren't you <laughs> admit it you were waiting for a clumsy moment right there honestly I was a bit scared too but no I didn't hit the guy but yes so I am trying to keep in front of the mods to try trying to filter them out to what I'm interested in so thank you for sharing and keep them up keep it up and uh, if you want to join the discord server I don't really broadcast it in YouTube like I don't have the link readily available you'll have to do a bit of an effort if you want so we can filter out the guys who are really interested in joining versus those who are just uh, doing a wrong click or maybe just a teeny weeny bit curious so if you want to join there are two ways you can email me at the, at the clumsy geek well the clumsy geek at gmail.com and just tell me you want to join so I can give you the link or you can go if you have a twitch account you can go to twitch twitch.tv slash the clumsy geek and then just type in the chat exclamation point discord and the the other method which is a bit unorthodox but it's possible is if you can watch here in youtube one of my vods one of my stream footages from twitch past footages and just look at the, the chat because from time to time every i don't know 40 minutes or so nightbot post the link on the discord server of the discord server so you can stand by wait for the chat and copy manually the link there but yeah i just i don't like uh, broadcasting it so you can keep it a bit private you know a bit of an insider thing among the interested parties there's something weird with that thing like that car had a wagon with the utility vehicle or something but it was it seemed like it was floating wasn't it yeah, it seemed floaty it's a bit weird hmm, strange and i'm getting a bit of a few hiccups here yeah you can see the blinking shadows on the cars that's a sure sign that sooner or later the skybox will change so it looks like this SCS bug has not been fixed yet. So the symptoms of this bug are the uh, the disappearing shadows, the stutters. Oh yes, and Kirill taught me something. That should fix it. She said whether zeros should reset the thing. And now it's smooth again. Perfect. Thanks Kirill. And now no more disappearing shadows. So yeah, it's not perfect yet. There's an SES bug that happens periodically. But now it's uh, working perfectly. And now the skybox is changing. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Yeah. Although that one, actually there is a, like a, if you could call it an imperfection. Oh, this is my favorite skybox actually. Yeah, it's transitioning slowly, that one at the back. But if you look at the sun, like that one, you see like it's a solar eclipse looking thing. It's like the sun is darker. I think that has been fixed. That has been changed. 
with uh, the new beta in foggy weather with 2.0 it's still a thing but with the new one with the 8k textures that's coming soon it will be not a problem anymore i think let's take another photo here because i'm sure this will be better it's a bit brighter a lot more colorful and we have the beautiful clouds at the back there with even like is that a plane i think it is a plane yeah a like a propeller plane kind of thing very nice although i don't think we can see it okay but that one definitely looks a lot better doesn't it yeah i think we'll take that thank you beautiful This is proving to be a very nice uh, experience. So. Let's turn on our lights as well. It's getting a bit dark. Also, I'm liking the silhouette you can see it from afar there. But anyway, what were we talking about? Love that fog from the distance. Man, it looks so good. I hope Kirill hasn't removed this uh, favorite skybox of mine from the new beta. Oh no! bit too close for comfort thank you man that looks good that looks good so good yeah this is why I couldn't believe that Kirill could top this I mean this is 4k already beautiful skies and everything but now with a new beta that will be coming soon to ADS it's going to be 8K. It's going to be even more high res. Imagine that. Imagine that. And yes, I wanted to point out as well. So Jay pointed it out to me. For those who were watching the ETS2 episode with the new beta for foggy weather, I mentioned that uh, the, the file size was 10 gigs. And it is 10 gigs, but 10 gigs is like uncompressed. Like normally if you download the mod, it's in an SCS or a zip file format, right? That's compressed. The ones what that we're testing right now, it's basically like extracting the files inside the zip file, putting it outside. So it's in its full size. So the 10 gig is its, it is its uncompressed version. But when it gets released, we're not really sure what the size is, but it will be compressed. So hopefully, it will be a lot smaller than that so yeah i cannot commit what size it will be but uh, it should be smaller hopefully but yes i think like yesterday oh, i'm speeding here yesterday there were like two or three updates from kirill he added a few skyboxes so like ev it's an everyday thing now he's adding bit by bit and so I can't wait to have it as well in ADS so we can uh, enjoy the even more high-res skyboxes. What is that? That's interesting. That must be a specific icon in this highway. We're actually an I-5. 5 South, I believe, yes. So if we go straight through here, we'll go straight into California. Interesting. Rest area next right, do we need to? It's 5.30 only, I don't think we need to. The only sad thing as well, well, kind of sad thing, is uh, with Grimes uh, early autumn or early fall, I think, because I think the Americans call it fall, right? So with, with Grimes' early fall mod, the sun also sets earlier because when during fall you get shorter daytimes right so by the time it hits around 6 p.m maybe at most 7 it will be pitch black already well not pitch black but sunset already and you can already see it happening bit by bit so yeah 
that's less day times more night driving for this series as a side effect I guess it's more realistic though so I guess it's not too bad although I would have preferred uh, more of sightseeing but yeah we get what we get at least it's realistic right I should actually be able to speed up as well no magic just science <laughs> I think that's one of the companies here in uh, the ATS world. One of the SES companies. Or fictional companies, I should say. But man, doesn't this, looks, doesn't this look beautiful? I mean, the vanilla Oregon looks so good. But now with this, looks even more amazing, right? Let's move here to the left with my bit. It's getting laggier though. Yeah, that is the cost of mods though. As you add mods, more and more mods, can't really pinpoint. Ah, there was a there was a bug with the skybox again. Yeah, happens very often, huh? Happened twice already to us in this episode. That's why we were getting buggy or uh, stutters. It's still not sure when it happens. But yeah, it happens occasionally, especially when you're traveling and maybe crossing to different climates, I think. And I'm not sure what the theory is or if they found the root cause, but apparently, yes, it's still not fixed, unfortunately. And good thing, for the first time ever, we are exempted from passing by the way station. At least we got lucky there. And why is this guy stopping? Bro, what the heck? I think he wants to see a clumsy trucking moment. Even now he's still slow. Come on bro, can do better. Alright, fine. Let me just drive through and uh, overtake you. It's going to be difficult though. But I think we can manage somehow. It's nice to see this, these uh, realistic trailers again. And the clumsy trucking trailers, of course. One of the reasons why I purchased this uh, T800 as well is I think it is now compatible. And don't quote me on this, but. Uh, maybe not, huh? I was hoping that it's compatible with the the DLC, the stripes. What, what was that called? That the, that paint shop DLC that came out with Oregon. I'm not sure if uh, GTM team, the mod authors of this T800, also made that DLC compatible with this one. Now that I think about it, I'm thinking not, but I'm hoping it still is the case. Not really sure. Can we overtake now? Thank you. I mean, merge in rather. And it's nice having a CG mug and a CG truck in front of you. What more do you need? <laughs> How much more CG can you take, guys? Alright, there we go. But yes, let, let me see how much further we have to go. 90 miles. Because I was thinking if we should go into questions, or it might not be enough time anymore. Um. Well, I guess we can go and answer a few. After all, we have a lot of backlog way back from July. <laughs> we have a couple of Rob's questions in here. Rob asks, uh, Aliens have landed in Singapore. How would you react? <laughs> I'm not sure what brought about this topic, but I can't, I can't remember anymore exactly. But yeah, there was a Canyonville. Oh, nice. We have to unlock that as well. I think we can just pass through. Hopefully. And yeah, this is not a town, this is the uh, huge rest stop, I think. What does that say? Seven features? Man, I told you guys it's going it's going to be pitch black. I'm actually interested to see 
how the night looks like in the new foggy weather beta we will see it together in ETS2 probably in the next episode we'll take a look but yeah how would I react if aliens landed? I guess the same as anyone else would running running to the mountains running to the hills although there are no hills no, no mountains here in Singapore so that might be a problem but you get my point <laughs> aliens I guess I, I don't have much comments with the uh, aliens thing but I would have a related comment which is that uh, I've been playing a lot of space trucking a lot of elite dangerous recently a lot 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 I'm super addicted again and I know it's not everyone's uh, cup of tea it's very different from trucking even though the, 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 it's the same name because this one is based on realism and the other is based on sci-fi and if you're a trucking fan it's more likely than not that you are a realism fan rather than a sci-fi fan although there are some like me like Jack <laughs> who are fans of both but yeah I'm really very addicted into Elite Dangerous recently. I've been uh, trading, earning money. I, I like the economy in that game. I like the trading aspect in that game. The fact that you can choose jobs, plan your route. Multi-drops are basically supported because the jobs you can take are based on tonnage. So you can get 10 tons of this, 20 tons of that, drop this off there. Where you drop it off, you pick up another job and do like that. So basically, the dream that we want in ATS is in there already. And uh, the only difference is everything else. <laughs> Which is basically uh, do flying spaceships instead of driving trucks. So it's very different, but yeah. The aspect of multi-drops is achieved in there. And there are so many things you can do. You can uh, upgrade your spaceship, upgrade the parts, make it faster, make it more nimble. You can go into combat, you can do bounty hunting, you can become a pirate, you can keep on trading and whatnot, things like that. Man, Oregon looks good even at night. Actually, th this is not too bad, huh? Because we have the lights in the highway. It's actually not bad still pretty scenic and immersive I like it so yeah I've been playing a lot of Elite Dangerous and I think I will be playing in the coming days I'm hoping a lot of people will come on board please give it a chance please be open minded but if you really don't like it no worries no hard feelings completely understand but that's just a heads up for you that I'm really getting into Elite Dangerous past few days past few weeks and there are a lot more updates coming in so I will be playing a lot more looks like hopefully but don't worry trucking is still here as you are watching this now trucking continues <laughs> so yeah that's the uh, that's my uh, connecting comment there from Rob's question actually he has a follow-up question where he asks uh, better kind of follow-up related were the moon landings real or an elaborate fake there's a lot of conspiracy about this it might get political even and i don't have enough information i don't know a lot about it enough to uh, really give um, a knowledgeable answer so i'll just give my my uh, clueless opinion i could say so no, not based on any facts but just based on my personal perception okay, for me there are a lot of theories, a lot of conspiracies that the moon landing was faked in order for the US to be ahead of the game. Is this us? I think it is. Yeah, this is us. And I have to start slowing down. Love that sign. Telling me that there is a traffic light coming. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, let me know if the engine is too loud, right? Maybe I've been talking all this time and no one can hear me. I hope not, but let me know if ever. Hey, I like that. It's actually a Staples paint job of the... Uh, how 
what do you call that? That's not a curtain cider. That's a... Oh, I forgot the name. But there's a different name for a, the US trailer. Curtain folder, I think. Can't remember. You guys let me know. But yeah, the moon landing. Speaking of moon landing, do we have the moon? We have the moon. Okay, perfect timing. <laughs> we have the moon right there, watching above us. So the moon landing, was it fake? I have no clue. It could be, but I'd like to think that... Uh, I'd like to... Uh, give people the benefit of the doubt. And I'm hoping that it's real. Because... That thing, although at this point though, I mean, if it's real or not, I think we can basically leave it as real. And yeah, this is my this is my uh, uninformed opinion. Looks like a bug there in the skinning for ADM. Um, yeah, so this is my. Uh, uninformed opinion but for me regardless if it's real or not it's not the case it's not the important thing I think for me the important thing is is what it sparked so what the entire moon landing sparked in each and every one of us the hope that it brought the possibilities imagine the number of children back then not even children but everyone who got inspired but especially children who are now maybe I don't know astronauts or maybe in the in similar fields who were inspired by their heroes reaching the moon and wanting to do something similar wanting to do something as uh, amazing wanting to leave a mark in the world like imagine the inspiration that brought and nowadays even if it's real or not I would like to think it was worth it because of the sheer effect it brought to the people everywhere around the world yeah deep thinking by clumsy <laughs> but yeah I, I like to think uh, positive of these things I'm a, I'm a positive thinker in general I don't like I like giving people the benefit of the doubt I like uh, thinking good things sometimes to a fault Ooh, looks like we'll be in time for a train. Initially, I thought, that why were the traffic lights dancing? And uh, apparently, there is going to be a train passing through soon. Soonish? There we go. It didn't honk though. Supposedly, you should be tooting whenever you pass a level crossing, right? I learned that from you guys. What was it? There is a sequence that you do. Uh, I forgot. Too long, too short, or something like that? You guys remind me in the comments, okay? Uh, bumpy road. Good one. Speaking of trains, from sci-fi to trains, that's how uh, diverse we are in these topics. Speaking of trains, I would want to get into train simulator sometime soon. Maybe get into the actual train simulator, not the train sim world thing. Because I'm planning to buy one of the Swiss DLCs if there are any. Uh, Barry showed me that there is a Swiss DLC actually. I might get that or if there's something that I'm more familiar with somewhere where I've been to. Maybe that will be even better, but we'll see. We'll see if I can find something because I would want to... Like I mentioned that in the Transport Fever series, I'm really inspired to uh, make a creative series. But I think I won't be pushing through with that in the meantime because I do not have enough knowledge. So I, when I just was trying to brainstorm how it would work, I could not proceed because I did not know, did not know enough. Like, how are real train stations modeled? How are crossings and... Uh, yeah, the terminals mod modeled, what are the names, the terms, the different kind of trains. So I'm absolutely clueless. And I think I need more exposure. And I think the best exposure I can get is getting into the actual simulation. 
getting into an actual train, driving it, seeing the route, and seeing how it works, how it all works. Just like how I did it here in Truxim. I knew nothing about trucks before, was not a fan of trucks, got into a truck, got exposed to you brilliant people, and learned a lot. And now, I'm still clueless, but at least there's a fighting chance, right? Where the heck is the thingy? Am I... Am I showing that? Wait. Am I asking that every time? Skilled parking. I said skilled parking. Can you guys see it? Um... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, there it is. I see it now. There we go. Okay completely missed it. This looks something like a truck station in Transport Eber. This kind of layout. The one which loops around like this. Enters there. So maybe... Can we take the long way around so I have more space to maneuver? Hopefully. And is it... Did it get a bit darker than before? Not actually sure. There you are. Oh crap, I thought I could just get to it straight in, but I think I'll have to reverse because there's a wall of, of gravel in here. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna just... We should have enough space for that anyway. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, and I wasn't able to show you the steering Axel, did was I? Crap. I'll try to show you later when we drop this off. Okay, you can see it here. There. You see it? Yeah, you can see the axle at the back is a bit crooked because I'm turning my front axle. So it follows. Very nice. So it helps with the overall turning of the truck, although I'm not really sure how useful that is. Because the trailer itself isn't turning, just the truck. And I might not be doing this correctly, but we might have a chance. Although I think it helps, because if you make the truck really nimble, there you go. You also make the change the direction of the truck very fast, and so it gives a lot of leeway. For uh, adjusting the trailer as well, for uh, yeah, maneuvering the trailer too. There we go, excellent. Portland to Medford, digger 1000. And that is our first truck, and now we're level 4. 11k, not too shabby, I like it. And I will not get a uh, just in time delivery, I don't like that. So instead, we will get. Uh, should we unlock these guys? I guess we get these uh, hazardous cargoes. Explosives. Dynamites, fireworks, or ammunition. Okay. That's fine. Good. So, I think we are good there. Let's find... Uh, can I buy that? No, I don't have money. Ooh, maybe we can stay there. Stay with me a little longer, guys. Let's explore this rest area. And uh, let's sleep. So that next episode, it will be a nice morning for trucking, because it's almost 11 p.m. now. Perfect time to sleep. It looks like everybody is sleeping, it looks like someone made a mess here. <laughs> Where is that going? Is that going the same way? Actually, I'm not sure. But yeah, I like that. <laughs> Very nice. Very dirty. Let's try not to use our jake brake here. And let's try to 
stay as low revs as possible so we don't wake anyone up. We might get some complaints in the morning. I do like the subtleness of it all though. Like you can see if you look very closely, you can see the stars in the sky. And even the moon actually. Very nice. Come on, you can do it. Okay, I think we can speed up a little now. This is starting to become industrial. sleeping we're the only ones awake good yes and then there's a last question let's finish this series from Rob it's also back to sci-fi again <laughs> several space agencies are planning a one-way trip to Mars so like surviving Mars the game we played a few days ago or a few months ago Would you go if you had the opportunity? Uh, not really. Not really excited for a long trip. And the destination is Mars. I mean, I don't know what you will see in Mars. Like if you watch this series called The Expanse, Jay recommended it to me along with some other folks. It's a very nice uh, series. It's a, a sci-fi series. Wherein the scenario is um, there are people living on Earth there are now people living on Mars and there are people living in I don't know asteroids or something and the people from Mars who were who were born in Mars you know their dream it, their dream is to go to Earth and see the beautiful mountains the beautiful skies the endless water and for us for the, the, the people on Earth they were like disregarding it they were Oh, I didn't see that before. And the animations on the, the toggles, very nice. So the, the people on Earth are like disregarding the uh, natural beauties, natural landscape. And the people from Mars, they want nothing else but to do that, to, to see that. And there was actually a scene where someone from Mars was able to see the, the ocean or something, the, the huge body of water and they could not believe their eyes. Endless water, just everywhere. So yeah, I'm not really excited <laughs> to go to Mars. And imagine this, I'm not even excited taking a long flight from like, I don't know, Asia to, to America. Like, last time I went, it took me like 27 hours in total. And that's only 27 hours. How long does it take to get from Earth to Mars? I don't know, depending on when the technology arrives, I don't know, maybe three years? I have no clue. That's just a random number I thought of, but I would think it's more than 27 hours, and 27 hours is more than enough for me. So going on a very long trip, a one-way trip at that, going to a place with no mountains, no lakes, well, there are mountains probably, maybe red mountains, but no lakes. I'd rather stay on Earth, at least for now. And this is why we have to do our part in keeping Earth as uh, healthy as possible, not abusing it, right? Because the reality in the Expanse universe is very, it's a very possible reality. If we continue at the rate of uh, using up our natural resources, then eventually there will be nothing left and we will have to leave and go look for something else. And uh, that's a very sad thing to think of. So no, <laughs> not for me, not for me. Mars, I'm not a Martian by heart. I would rather go back to Switzerland. <laughs> so yes, thank you for the questions, Rob. Very timely. Well, <laughs> you asked it back in July, but uh, my answer 
now is very timely because of Elite Dangerous and all the sci-fi stuff. But thank you for asking them and uh, thank you for uh, thinking of that. Hope I was able to satisfy <laughs> those and uh, sorry it took so long to answer. Let's answer one more, why not? Uh, there is one from Rohan. After you finish streaming, what do you do? Do you play more of the game that we're playing on stream or take part in some other activities? So after I stream, I have this system, I have this process on how to rename the video, you know, the footage, check it, make sure that it's working, there, it's not garbled, it's not pixelated, that the audio is okay, the video is okay and renaming it, making a thumbnail, uploading it to YouTube and all that stuff. So all the, the, the steps I do, but uh, in a high level, after I stream, I'm basically dead tired already, most of the time. Because I stream for three hours, I don't normally stream, I don't normally play that long anymore. I like that. Are those dolphins? Or? No, fish? Koi, maybe? Very nice mural. So yeah, I don't, uh, I don't normally play that long anymore. Maybe except nowadays with Elite Dangerous because I'm so addicted. But I don't normally play for long periods of time anymore. I get so tired. So after I stream, I'm dead tired and uh, I just finish the process and I take a rest because it's the. Where, where, where the heck can we sleep here? I have no idea. Looks like this one is spot. Yeah, this one is good. Let's just stop like, like this. Very dark though. So yeah, I, it, I just go with the process of uploading and then I rest. I grab lunch. I do something else, I start working on my full-time job, things like that, but I don't play anymore. <laughs> too tired, too old. Anyway, thanks for that question, Rohan, and thank you for watching, everyone. Thanks for uh, hanging out, <laughs> if you made it until this far. Hope you like the truck, let me know what you think, and yes, I know you can see me, but just imagine. Anyway, thank you for watching, have a nice day, clumsy trucking. Please don't forget, hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, comment, share, check out my Patreon, and help me, support me directly. Anyway, thank you for watching, catch you in the next episode, and looking forward to your comments. Thanks and clumsy trucking. Bye-bye. Catch you soon.